days here. Hi everyone, welcome back to another match day vlog. This is the main event. It's Ruch. And from the latest news I heard, there's gonna be 30,000 people there. As you can tell, I'm very excited. I did my hair for it. Got some fancy clothes on. Ready, it's like a date. Ready to get wine and dined. And then f***ing yes by Exposito. So is finally playing in the Silesia Stadium, which means I don't have to travel that far. And hence why it's already getting a bit dark, so heading there early. Also at 7.30 there's a leisure show before the kickoff, so you need to catch that too. It's going to be a long video, so strap in and enjoy. Realistically, uh, I'm not expecting a Ruch win. There's like 19 points difference between the two teams. Last weekend Slav Voslav destroyed Legia. And yeah, Exposito on its own is a complete different animal. Last time the two teams faced was 2017. Uh, Ruch won both league games, uh, but in the relegation playoff, uh, Slans destroyed them 6 0. So I'm hoping for not something similar like that. But the atmosphere is going to be outstanding. I can guarantee that. Slans Wurzlaw, uh, last time we saw them was against the Gwangi Lubin. Uh, after that it was like a complete 360. Exposito on his own has 11 goals, which is the exact same amount as Ruch has. So that should tell you enough about his qualities. In terms of statistics, Ruch is in the bottom half of the table. Uh, I think only Vikas Wuj is worse. It's going to be a long, difficult season. What I was expected, like the goal is to survive and stay in the extra classer and from there on build on but yeah enough talking let's get to the stadium and a short tram ride later it's already dark so we've been to a lot of stadiums now so far for this channel but this one feels the grandest i think it's just because it's so open and also the area in front of it's open. Because we've been to Legia, we've been to Slans Wozlaw. Big stadiums, but they're in like a compacted area. But this one, look. It's grand. I've been here inside. From the inside also it looks massive. Uh, I'm going to show you right now. But yeah, I cannot wait for the games against Legia and Gornik here. Oh. Yeah, so the only downside is like the running tracks. But yeah, the, the ultra section will be here. And actually, we're gonna sit above so we can watch them down. Not making the mistake again as in Jeshov. So you got your food, drinks, of course, the sponsored ones. And some events going on. Yeah, looks cool. And here we have a little pop-up shop. So in case you forgot your scarf. It is getting a bit cold now upstairs, so maybe I'll get a chop key later. We will review the sausages next time. Uh, the stomach is a bit upset, but we haven't done it for a while, so... It's gonna need to be done soon. I mean, they do look tasty. Look at them. Uh, so girthy. Uh. So with most Ruch games, only alcohol free uh, beer. That's my sector. That's a bit of a steep price. Or is it the meal? I don't know. Also, no, 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 that one. Still an hour to go till the light show. Let's see how far we can walk around the stadium. Because my friends are on the other side. It seems they sneaked into the VIP room. And I also want some VIP. We're still going. Literally the end of the line. Ah, damn it. It's a weird design. This part.
uh, my throat is gone. So we're doing the mess review tomorrow morning again. <laughs> See you then. One eternity later. Here we are again. The match footage was a bit shorter than I expected. I don't really know what happened there. I guess it all happened in a blur. Or maybe I got just caught up in the, <laughs> in the moments. I forgot to record. But both sides were actually pretty equal. Yeah, most danger came from corners and free kicks. So Slans took the lead early uh, with their first attempt on goal. Good free kick, good header. But like always, Ruch didn't let their heads drop. And that led to a foul in the box, VR checking it, and then giving the penalty, which is Japan, you know, expertly finished. Then the game kind of got like bogged down, kind of got messy with lots of arguments, heated uh, debates on the field, let's say that. And then just before halftime, uh, the ball luckily got through the defense towards uh, now as Lueba who finished it off pretty decent and Slanska, yeah went into halftime with the lead and then they did the classic thing of sitting back uh, for the second half uh, Ruch uh, dominated the play basically the second half and Slansk was just looking for that cheeky counter with Exposito but Ruch is a hard battling team and yeah they battled out the draw I think it was like a deep cross. Goalkeeper came out very, very chaotic, punched the Ruch player in the face, and the yeah, referee checked with VAR again and gave the penalty. And probably should have sent off the, the goalkeeper because that was a, a very reckless uh, action. And Japan equalized. At the end, it got messy again. Ruch had a counter. Slant stopped it with a, a foul. And then again, some arguments and. The Slovakian guy got his second yellow card, red card, sent off. And then when Ruch wanted to take the free kick, the referee blew for full time. So, but a 2-2 draw is a very good result. I mean, Slansk is still first place team, so for Ruch it's good. I was not very impressed with Slansk. I think they're used to playing uh, defensively on the counter and against teams that are also sitting back. Uh, they kind of struggle to play their game to to to, the, to dominate themselves. Ruch, next for point, it's good. They're still behind on my minimum target. For me, the minimum target should be 34 points uh, at the end of the season. You know, 34 games, 34 points. That's the minimum to stay up. Uh, and we're now around 13, and Ruch has eight points, so they're behind on that one. But yeah, we still have. Uh, 21 rounds to go, so there's still time. 21 rounds. We're in round 13 and I already did 22 games. But yeah, a bit of a long video with me rambling. But yeah, thanks for joining me this weekend. Uh, please like and subscribe, leave a comment. You know what to do. And we'll see each other in Zagwambia. Bye bye.